About this time a year ago, Treasure Valley schools were trying to figure out how to finish the semester remotely, keeping kids out of the classroom to keep the spread of COVID to a minimum. This year, quite the opposite. Idaho's two largest school districts say they figured out a way to wrap up the 2021 school year by getting everyone back into the classroom. It's a major accomplishment, according to many, after a major disruption to the previous two school years. While things are not completely back to normal at school, it is a sign that things are, in the community at least, on a path to a more normal time. Joe Paris spoke with the Boise and West Data School Districts about the major milestone and what needs to happen to ensure schools remain in person full time to finish the year. Today's a, a historic day, if you will, you know, as far as the district's history, uh, where uh, the first time in, in over a year where we've been able to say uh, that we have students back full time in person learning five days a week. After months of anticipation for students and teachers, the Boise School District is now fully back in the classroom. Earlier this month, kindergarten through sixth grade returned full time, and beginning today, they're joined by grades seven through 12. Spokesman Dan Holler says the first day back has a special feeling to it. The learning best occurs when it's in person with our students, and, uh, and, and they're delighted to be back. I know that um, in making some calls to our, uh, our schools, uh, staff members, uh, uptick in morale, uptick in morale among our students too, that uh, they can see their friends and, and reconnect. And so we're happy, it's, it's been a great day. While it is exciting to get back to a more normal schedule, things at school will look and feel different than the last time students were learning in person full time. Students will be wearing masks and are asked to distance as much as possible. That will be key to making sure that we can remain uh, in person full time learning. We want to finish the school year strong and I think um, our staff and our families want to do the same thing. Our students in grades 6 through 12 have been going on a hybrid schedule for the past few months. Uh, the lower grades have been in person every day, but the upper grades, uh, this will be the first time in a year that they have all been together starting tomorrow. That's the plan to return to a more normal schedule for the West Ada School District. Spokesperson Char Jackson says West Ada will continue to do remote days every Monday for the rest of the school year, but Tuesday through Friday will finally be back to normal. We know uh, with that comes a lot of excitement, but we want students to be mindful of our safety protocols and remember that, you know, we have to wear a mask, uh, wash our hands, uh, keep distant from each other, you know, when, when possible and all of those uh, safety protocols that we have talked so much about over the course of the past few months. Jackson says through the hybrid schedule, the district saw students and staff make it clear that they wanted to be full time by demonstrating a commitment to mask wearing as well as distancing as much as possible. They know to finish the year in person, that commitment needs to continue. We know that you know the more time they can spend in the classroom, the more valuable that's going to be for their education. And so just fulfilling these last few weeks of in-person learning, um, we're just really happy that that's a goal that that we've been able to attain and will you know, be able to maintain, hopefully. Health experts in Idaho and around the country have worked to remind people that even though things are getting back to normal, we are still very much in an active pandemic and it requires attention to good health habits. Still, for Boise and West Data to return to full-time in-person learning, it's a major milestone. Jackson says she knows teachers have plans to mark the occasion with their students. It's going to be a really welcoming day for all the students. Um, just making everyone feel really welcome and just keeping in mind to be safe at the same time. But it is exciting and teachers do have a lot of, um, you know, special things planned for the students who are returning. Uh, it's been a, it's a been a rough go for, for all of us as a community, but I think that we're stronger together, right? We're stronger together because we work together as a community. And so there, there is a level of emotion, uh, of, uh, of joy to be able to, uh, uh, have our students back with us in person so that learning occurs in the most effective way possible. You know, everybody back into classrooms and in the hallways and stuff. Are there any hesitations about returning to this in-person learning? And we can't expect this to be perfect. So what's going to happen if there might be an outbreak? 
Yeah, Brian, this is definitely an ongoing active situation. Just because schools are starting to go back doesn't mean we're in the clear. And as you heard uh, Dan Haller say, they're not perfect. And they're going to be very careful and be keeping an eye on things like possible COVID outbreaks out of school. If it got to a point, Brian, where there was an issue and they could show that the virus was spreading at school, you have to believe that schools would go back to virtual learning. There was success, though, uh, through the hybrid learning programs, Brian, in terms of not really a spread of COVID in schools. So we're going to just have to kind of keep an eye on it. But there's optimism that to finish the school year, students in Boise and West data will mostly be in the classroom. Of course, with that hybrid model, though, there were half the students there half the time. So now it's going to expand twice as many and we'll really get a good idea how well these masks work. Again, we don't expect to be perfect. But we'll just have to see how it plays out from here. Thank you, Joe.